This is how you become dangerous. Word tracks are something so you never freeze. Remember how I just grabbed you? And I was like, what's my payment gonna be? It's like, you're like, oh shit. And then you're thinking, I don't want you to think. I want you to be a machine. Can I ask you a question? Are, are, are you nervous? Yeah. No, you're not. I need you to stop lying to you. Listen to me. Do you know what's keeping him weak? Him. And by the way, you're gonna change today. I'm not embarrassing you. I want you to know that you're gonna change. You just gotta wanna, you just gotta wanna develop. You just gotta wanna train. You gotta realize the life you have right now is not the life you're after, but you're in the right job. Yeah. You're in the right company. You're in the right place. You're in the right vehicle. You just gotta look in the mirror and be like, dude, I'm not doing anything about changing my life right now. It's like, dude, like this is what I need to do. I don't care how much skill you have. If you do everything that I said by exercising, taking care of yourself, starting to believe in yourself, learn your confidence, learn how to speak, speak more, talk more, get in the flow state more. Flow state, what's flow state? The way I talk, I gotta talk all the time. You guys talk for a living. How often should you be talking? All the freaking time. You know how many phone calls I made to get good at talking? All the time. Don't practice on your customers. Get on the phone, wear that phone out, okay? So this part right here, the difference between sales and closing is simple, just so we can get everybody to understand this. You have this line, there's sales, and I think closing starts at two things. Closing starts at your first no, and then closing starts when the money hits the table. People say you're closing when you're first meeting somebody, you're closing them on you. But really, look, you guys just need to be sold and closed on yourself, and they'll be closed and sold on you. Real closing, which requires skill to me, starts when somebody says no. Yeah, so listen, we're, we're gonna go take this vehicle for a test drive, or here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this strategy set up, and this out. yeah, I'm not really interested. Okay, now it's time to close. Is money on the table yet? Nope, that's early on. It's time to go into closing. I need to make sure that they see what I see. Everybody write this down. Closing is altering somebody's perspective. Closing is literally convincing somebody to pull their eyes out of their head and put your eyes in their head. It is literally allowing them to see what you see. Isn't it important to make people see what you see? Have you ever seen something and you're like, man, this is good for these people. Why aren't they doing it? You know why they're not doing it? because you couldn't get them to see it. Your number one goal in closing is to change someone's perspective. I want you to know this, closing customers is very, very easy. It's the easiest thing in the world. When you talk to somebody, can't they tell if you got your shit together, yes or no? Yeah, some of you guys don't got your shit together. You look like a slob. You're not taking care of yourself. You're literally not sharp. Your eyes aren't awake. You're not alert, man. You don't give a shit about people. You don't even take care of yourself or your own family, but you're gonna take care of them. They see right through your bullshit. Their bullshit meters like, dude, this guy's a fake. She's a fake. That's why if you do what I say to do and you become a pro, you'll annihilate people's ass. You wanna bankrupt your competition? Dude, my customers deserve the best. She'd be like, I can't believe he wants to bankrupt people. No, dude, if you're weak, you're out. If you're not willing to put in the time that I'm willing to put in, if you're not willing to self-invest in yourself, and you're not willing to do all the stuff I'm willing to do, dude, I don't feel sorry for you. This is a big one for me. Master sales closing. Are we in the era of the worst salesman in the history of time? Two rules, you wanna be a badass salesperson? Number one, out care your customer. Care more about your customer than they care about themselves. How about fucking that? Number two, believe in what you sell. Most of you right now walk into a mortgage company, this guy sells mortgage leads. I say, hey man, how good are the leads? He's like, well, you know, I'm like, dude, that's the problem. Believe in yourself, sells. Number two, closing. Do you need to know how to close, yes or no? What is a close? A close is done after the offer is presented. Your job is to give people reasons and excuses why they should say yes to you now. Learn new word tracks and sales. I got word game. I got word game. I got some mad game with words, guys. So when I first started selling, I would take any industry, and by the way, this is how I train industries. So I take an industry, we take an objection, and we learn five different ways to overcome those objections. Very simple, right? And that way we have different ways to talk and communicate with different people. I study so many different people. Every time you say something, and I'm like, dude, that was good. What do you think I do? Write it down. 
Now listen, word tracks, if you say something and I hear you say it and I'm like, dude, I like that. What does that mean? That means the way he delivered those words to me is the way that those words need to be delivered. Does that make sense? So I don't be like, oh yeah, I, I kind of got what you said, bro. Word for word, I need to know exactly what he said, exactly how he delivered it, and then was there tonality, was there pause, what did he do? What did he look like when he was saying it? Why did it affect me? Why did it make me wanna move in that direction? This is super important. This is the secret. Some of you guys have the same language you had five years ago. That's why your checks suck. That's why you're broke. That's why you're easy to beat.